when two lines do not intersect each other even if we extend them endlessly are called parallel lines but if two lines are parallel but one line crosses both lines at two different points what are these called these are called transversal line hello my friends my name is arpan you are watching keep learning keep growing channel and today i am going to explain the project which explains the angle properties of transversal line so please watch this video till the end and let us start our learning session line l intersect line m and n on different point of point a and point b now you can find line segment a and b so the angles which are which have the common a line segment ab as a, as an arm this uh, this angles are called interior angles as you can see that line l intersect line m and n at different point a and b we can find total eight angles right so let them give name angle 1 angle 2 angle 3 angle 4 angle 5 angle 6 angle 7 and angle 8 angle 3 angle 4 angle 5 and angle 6 are called interior angles now what are exterior angles very simple that angles which do not have line segment ab as a common arm these are exterior angles so we will get angle 1 angle 2 angle 7 and angle 8 so here alternate interior angles are equal it means angle 3 angle 5 are equal angle 4 and angle 6 are equal same way alternate exterior angles are also equal angle 1 is equal to angle 7 and angle 2 is equal to angle 8 so here in this project we are going to prove that only that uh, how we will show this properties on the project so let us start a project so take a thermocol sheet and paste paper on it and then draw two parallel lines like this and give name them m line m and line n take one strip of cardboard like this and then we have to set 360 degrees protractor using thumb pin like this we should set the thumb pin little bit upside and i have already make a small hole on the center of protector using hot needle and we have to set it little bit up upside like this and we have to make two strips like this now friend this project is very easy our 50% project is done now see what to do cut four paper strips like this size now paste this paper strips like this so that the strip with protractor can move we can slide it so friends our project looks like this now see how it works we are going to put thumb pin on uh, outside like this so that uh, it express the points and when this points will be joined line will be formed right so we are going to form a line using thread i took woolen thread so i am going to join these two points so that the transversal line will be formed transversal line can be formed from any point so you can that is why we have keep it flexible we can put a thumb pin at any point and form the transversal line Now see again you have to remember this uh, angle's name angle 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 Now see we can uh, rotate this protractor so at different angles now if we see this angle we can find that interior angle 4 is 110 degree so angle 8 is also 110 degree Clearly, angle three and angle seven are seventy seventy degree, right? So this way, you will be representing different angles of uh, lines. So that's all for today's friends. If you like anything in this video, then please don't forget to like and subscribe your channel because we all will learn together and grow together. That's why we believe in keep learning, keep growing.